I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. See how I do. Um, grass is all wet and dewy, so this should be a fun morning. But as long as I'm finding stuff, I'll be good. So wish me luck. First snake of the day, little garter snake, eastern garter snake. Just gonna let him be on his way. I love when you can find big American toads. It's like a baseball size. You can't get them softball size. He's not too happy that I've outed him. Super cool. I'm not doing great, I guess. I don't know, maybe the snakes are a little too deep with the cold. This is the second snake, another little Eastern garter. So it seems that the babies, they don't know what they're doing, they're still up. Hoping I can find some more stuff here. Anytime I see something like this in a park, I always flip it. Look at the size of that pickerel. That thing's huge. Pickerel frog. There he goes. But here's a garter in shed. So I'll just move him back in there. And I try not to be a dick about it. I always put the rocks back. So that I have minimal impact on whatever they're doing with this. Okay, so that's like a typical pickerel. A little small maybe, but look at this guy. size pickerel. Lithobates palustris. All these guys here. So I'm totally going to regret picking this guy up. This is a slimy salamander. And they hop. And they call them slimies because well they release a slime on you as a deterrent to predators him out of here so he's easier to grab. Here he goes. And your hands will be super nasty all day. I don't know if you can see all that gook on my hand already. I'm gonna put him back where I got him right under this rock right here on this roadside random roadside in central PA. It's been years since I've seen a hellbender, about four to be exact. And I was at this creek in central Pennsylvania about five years ago. So it's a little late in the season. I don't want to flip rocks necessarily, but I have my snorkel and I'm going to give that a shot because it did work for me once in North Carolina. Actually, it worked for my kids. I struck out, but they found them. So let's see how I do. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a wood turtle. Yes. Hmm. 
<laughs> nice. Holy man. That's awesome. Another look at this wood. Just waiting for Julie to catch up so she can take a look at it. Thank God the sun's out. It's not exactly warm enough for being in this cold creek. You can see why it has that wood name. Glyptomus in Sculpta. So I'm here with Julie and just noticed that he's missing a foot. He's got a, a stump foot. Doing just fine though. Healthy looking turtle. I'm so sorry about your foot. I'm so sorry. Does it hurt? Oh, I feel bad for you. I'm not recording me, are you? <laughs> You're so nah. cute. Okay, we're gonna release this guy. Where we got him? So after about an hour of striking out, I found three over in the shaded area over there. So I brought them over to, so Julie can see them, and I will return them. But this guy's got some scarring on his head. You can see it. It's a hellbender. This is the most unique herp in the country, if you ask me. They're just so cool. Then they do get bigger. This is probably about, I don't know, I don't know much about size on them, but this is probably about an average adult. They definitely could probably put on another four or five inches and be a lot girthier. I always thought the uh, toenails were cool. It was like they had a French manicure. You can see the white tips on them. This is the largest salamander in the new world. There's only two larger ones in the world, and that's the Japanese giant salamander and the Chinese giant salamander. Mm -hmm. 